I think it's hard to to have a, a blanket sort of like yes, no response to this question about calling out racism. I think the thing that I'll, the way that I'll answer it is, is for me, um, one of the, the things that I think is really important that's a core value of mine is um, when something happens publicly, we need to address it publicly. Um, so one of my biggest pet peeves is like, um, if I'm in a classroom setting or if I'm, if I'm in a meeting, um, and somebody says something racist or does something racist. Um, nobody in the room confronts it, in particular white folks. But then after the meeting, after the class, folks come up to the person and say, hey, like what so-and-so did was really messed up. I just want you to know that that was problematic. And I'm like, well, why, th why didn't you say that during in the moment? Like, why didn't you say that in the meeting, right? And so to me, like, I think calling out racism when it happens is really important. So that's like one piece I'll say. The caveat to that, though, is that um, is that we have to think about like our, our privilege and power in, in relationship to this, right? So um, students of color positionally have less formal power. So that's their, their formal power is tied to one's position or title. They have less formal power than their faculty in the room do. So I hold faculty more responsible for calling out racism when it's happening and not putting the onus onto students for doing that. Like right. students, um, you know, that's emotional labor that students of color should not be engaged in. Um, so to me, that's like, that's like really important. It's like, that's, that's the work of the faculty member to do that. As a faculty member, we miss things. I don't see things at times. Just this morning, we had a welcome session for our, our students and I missed something. And so I owned it, I apologized. And then more importantly, you have to do better the next time, right? And so, but, it, but that's the responsibility of like, um, of like the or faculty members. What students of color can do though is first and foremost, I think it's really important to, to take care of yourselves. And I'm gonna complicate that in, uh, that in a minute. Like I feel like we're in this mantra of like, oh yeah, self care, take care of yourselves. Like people say this very, very glibly and it's become this sort of like consumerized concept. But in the, the, the reality of that self care before it became commercialized is really important, right? Um, like self-care is radical. It's, a, it's an act that we have to do in order to, to take care of ourselves. Um, some of the work that I've done around racial battle fatigue, the participants in this study have distinguished between self-care strategies and more deeper healing strategies, which are getting at the root of the issue. So self-care things are, are stuff like caring for your bodies, like exercising, eating well, sleeping well, um, seeking counseling that, that Caroline said, which can also be healing because in counseling, you're also addressing the root of the issue, but there are more sort of the temporary, temporary fixes that are, that are more quick, but, but may not get it at the root of the issue like healing does. And so one of the things participants said was being in community with other people was what, um, got them to heal. Right. And so I think setting healthy boundaries is also really important. It's, it's okay to say no to things. Um, one of my colleagues, I love this phrase that she, um, that, that, that the person said was, you don't have to, you don't have to light yourself on fire to keep others warm. Right. And so that means you don't have to be the one who's doing everything, burning yourself out for other people to, to, to be, to be okay. Right. Like you get to take care of yourself as well. You get to heal, you get to prioritize your needs. So to me, I think boundary setting is really healthy because that no means you're saying I'm too important to, um, you know, to, to, to say yes to this right now. I have to step back. I have to, this is not my, my, my job. This is not my battle to fight and I have to take care of myself. So those are some of the things that I think are really important um, for students of color.